If you want to learn 3ds Max completely with V-Ray 6, Type Flow, Character Animation, After Effects, Phoenix FD Fire and Liquid Simulations, you can go ahead and take my course. Hello everyone, in this video I am going to teach you how to use tie splines. So you already know the most of it, so let's create by start by creating a tie icon. Go to tie flow, create a tie icon like this and move it to upward. So we have created a tie icon. Now we want to emit some particles. So to do that, we are going to create tie flow. Open editor. Okay, we are going to give birth to some particles. The position of the particles will be the icon. So we are going to use the position icon operator. So pick the icon. And then we are going to use the speed operator. The speed will be along the icon. So we are going to change it from direction from the random 3D to along icon arrow. And here pick the icon. So this is our particle. Now we are going to use force. So let's increase the speed to 2. Inside the force, change the noise to turbulence and increase the strength. Okay, now increase the scale. I have Okay, so we have decreased the scale of our noise. Now we are going to use spline path and click on create new. So now we have created some spline path animation with the help of die flow. Okay, so this is just the basic thing. You can do it easily by yourself. Now the next thing we can do is to go to help helpers and create a tie vortex like this. And then add this tie vortex to the force and you will see this tornado animation so you can go ahead and add as many forces you want but i think this vortex animation looks great you can change the value of the circular force to change the to change everything so let's give it a value for 3 5 okay okay now let's give it some material but first of all let's create a cylinder like this equal to the size of the, our animation open the material editor and apply some gradient material to it so if you go into general you will see the gradient apply it to it like this you can see how it looks like in the red value the orange value here and the yellow color now go to tie flow open editor use we are going to use the mapping operator and inside the mapping operator pick our object okay now our particles will take the will take the mapping from this object now in order to apply it to tie spline you can see we have applied the material but nothing has happened here so let's undo it select the tie spline 
and then if you go into tie spline here okay so now we have applied the mapping operator the reason that it is not working because it is timing is set to event entry change it to continuous okay and then and then change it to face Uh, now apply this material to our ties planes and you can see the gradient has been applied successfully. Let's decrease the height a little bit. You can see how it is affecting our splines. Okay, the one more thing is you can do is go to material editor, copy this gradient paste it into self illumination enable the global illumination and then render it ok so for the rendering I think we should take a closer look like this and then render it and if you go to the right you will see the lens effects from here enable bloom and glare size intensity So go ahead and play with all of the settings. I am not covering any kind of render setup here right now because these tutorials, these tutorials are purely based on die flow. So that's it. Thank you for watching. So this is my channel Zion Horizon. I upload a lot of videos on Type Flow, 3ds Max and Phoenix FD. So go ahead and subscribe to my channel. I have a lot of content for you to learn and inspire from